Hello, financial enthusiasts. Welcome to All Street Financial, your one-stop shop for all things finance. Today, we're unpacking a topic that's as fascinating as it is complex, how a government shutdown can affect the stock market. Now, don't worry, we're not about to get political. We're just here to talk numbers, trends, and maybe crack a joke or two. Because remember, in finance, as in life, it's not about the fall, but how you rise after it. So stay tuned as we dive deep into this intriguing subject. So what exactly happens during a government shutdown, you may ask? Well, it's a bit like turning off the lights in a bustling office. The work doesn't stop entirely, but things certainly slow down and some tasks become impossible to complete. A government shutdown occurs when the legislative and executive branches of a country's government fail to agree on a budget for the upcoming fiscal year. This disagreement often stems from differing political ideologies, leading to an impasse in budget negotiations. With the budget unapproved, the government doesn't have the legal authority to spend money. This leads to the closure of non-essential government services. From national parks to research facilities, many areas feel the pinch as the government tightens its belt. Now you might be thinking, but what about essential services like law enforcement or air traffic control? Well, these services continue to operate, albeit under strained conditions. Employees in these sectors are often required to work without immediate compensation, with the promise of back pay once the budget standoff is resolved. And here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that the term shutdown is a bit of a misnomer? Despite the name, not everything grinds to a halt. The government continues to function, albeit at a reduced capacity. It's more like a government slowdown, if you will. However, the longer a shutdown lasts, the more severe the consequences become. Economic growth can slow down, public services can face disruptions, and the nation's credit rating might even take a hit. But here's the kicker. While the general public bears the brunt of a government shutdown, the stock market can react in unexpected ways. It's a bit like a roller coaster ride, full of ups and downs, twists and turns. Now that we know what a government shutdown is, let's see how it impacts the stock market. And for that, my friends, you'll need to stick around for the next scene. So buckle up and prepare for a deep dive into the world of finance and economics. Imagine the government shuts down and the stock market, well, it gets a bit shaky. Now let's delve into the nitty gritty of this scenario. When the government closes shop, the immediate and direct impact on the stock market can be somewhat uneven. But one thing is for sure, uncertainty starts to creep in. And if there's one thing the stock market doesn't take kindly to, it's uncertainty. So what happens? Well, investors, they start second guessing their decisions. They're not sure if their investments are safe, if they'll see a return, or if they should just cut their losses and run. This jitteriness can lead to a softening of the market and in some instances, even a full-blown sell-off. But it's not just about the immediate reactions. A government shutdown can have a ripple effect on the economy, which in turn impacts the stock market. You see, when the government shuts down, public services slow down, or in some cases, stop completely. This can lead to delays in government spending, which can slow economic growth. And a slow economy, ladies and gents, isn't exactly a beacon for a thriving stock market. Now, let's take a step back in history. Remember the government shutdown in the United States back in 2013? It lasted more than two weeks. During that period, the S&P 500 experienced a dip, but rebounded quickly once the government reopened. But here's the kicker. The longer term effect was a slowdown in GDP growth for that quarter. And that, my friends, is the crux of it. In the short term, the stock market may weather the storm of a government shutdown, but if that shutdown drags on, the delayed economic impact can lead to a more significant downturn in the market. It's kind of like eating a hot chili pepper. The initial bite might not be too bad, but give it some time and you'll be reaching for a gallon of milk. The stock market and government shutdowns, not the best of friends, are they? But hey, this isn't just a US problem. Let's take a worldwide tour. Over in Europe, first world countries like Germany and France have also grappled with government shutdowns. In these instances, stock markets have often taken a hit, at least initially. But remember, markets are like a cat with nine lives, they bounce back. In Germany, for example, during the 2005 shutdown, the DAX index, a blue chip stock market index, dipped but then recovered within a month. So while the impact is felt, it's not always long lasting. Now let's jet over to the United Kingdom. The Brexit saga, while not a government shutdown per se, 
brought about similar uncertainty. The FTSE 100 index experienced significant volatility during this period, so the takeaway here is that political instability of any kind can send ripples through the stock market. Heading to the east, Japan has had its share of political drama, but due to their parliamentary system, they've largely avoided complete government shutdowns. However, political instability can still cause market jitters. Back in 2007, when then Prime Minister Shinzo Abe suddenly resigned, the Nikkei index dipped significantly. Now on to developing countries. These nations tend to be more vulnerable to political upheaval and a government shutdown can severely impact their stock markets. Take, for instance, Brazil. In 2015, amid a massive corruption scandal and political crisis, the Brazilian stock market plummeted. But here's a little twist in our tale. Sometimes a government shutdown in a developed country can have a positive effect on emerging markets. This happens because investors in their quest for stability might move their money to these markets. So, while it's not exactly a party, it can be a silver lining. Finally, let's not forget that the global stock market is interconnected. A significant dip in one major market can cause a domino effect on others. After all, in today's world, when one sneezes, everyone else might catch a cold. As we can see, no country is immune to the effects of a government shutdown on the stock market. In every situation, there are winners and losers, and a government shutdown is no exception. Let's dive right into it. When the government hits the brakes, it's like a game of musical chairs. When the music stops, some folks find themselves without a seat. These are typically the small investors, who might not have the resources or the experience to navigate the stormy seas of a shutdown. It's like being caught in the rain without an umbrella. You're going to get wet. Now, let's consider the public sector employees who find themselves in a pickle. The government's closed for business and their paychecks are on hold. It's a tough spot to be in. And it's like trying to buy groceries with Monopoly money. It just doesn't work. On the flip side, there are those who are ready to ride the wave. These are the savvy investors, the big sharks in the pool. They've got the experience, the resources, and the patience to wait out the storm. They're like surfers waiting for the perfect wave. When it comes, they're ready to ride it all the way to the bank. And remember, even in the stock market, what goes up must come down. That's right, folks. It's like gravity. It's a law. So, when prices drop during a shutdown, these big players are ready to swoop in and pick up stocks at bargain prices. It's like Black Friday, but for stocks. Then there are the corporations who are well diversified and have a global presence. They're like chameleons, able to adapt and change with the environment. A government shutdown might cause a hiccup, but their global operations help keep them steady. It's like having a boat with multiple oars. If one breaks, you've still got others to keep you moving. So, government shutdown. A boon for some, a bane for others. Just remember, it's all about being prepared and staying informed. Like a Boy Scout, always be ready. Because when the music stops, you want to make sure you got a chair. Well, folks, that's a wrap on government shutdowns and their impact on the stock market. We've taken a deep dive into the mysterious waters of government shutdowns and surfaced with some valuable pearls of knowledge. We've explored how shutdowns can shake the stock market, impacting not just the United States, but rippling across the globe, touching first world and developing countries alike. We've also discussed that, like in any market shift, there are those who stand to benefit and those who bear the brunt of the impact. Opportunistic investors may find a golden chance to buy low, while everyday folks may face the harsh reality of a slowed economy, job insecurity, and potentially, a dip in their retirement savings. It's a complex interplay of factors, but one thing is clear. Knowledge is your best ally in navigating these turbulent waters. So, if you found this content useful, why not give that like button a click? It's a small action, but it helps us a ton in bringing you more insightful content like this. And if you haven't already, do consider hitting that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of our All Street Financial community. Thank you for sticking around with All Street Financial. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and hit the subscribe button before you leave. Until next time, keep your finances in check and your spirits high.